y'all. I'm Kimberly Cherry, back with another My Little Pony tutorial. A very, 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 very overdue tutorial on how to create ringlets. This is going to be the pony that I used today for uh, this tutorial. This is a, a Valentine's custom that I created. What I've got to uh, get the job done is some basic perming rods. You can get these at your local beauty supply store. Um, I'm also going to be using some end papers to keep those ends nice and neat. These you can get at any drugstore or your local Walmart. I've also got a comb here. It's always a good idea to have a pair of scissors. It's not at all uncommon that you'll come across little bitty tiny ends. You don't want those left before you go curling them because it can really mess up your nice pretty curl. And let's see, I've also got some mane and tail detangler here that I will on occasions, depending upon the condition of the pony's hair, give a light spritz. So, okay, we've got our curlers, our, our rods. I usually, for reasons unknown, start with the tail. I don't know why. There may be a good reason, and maybe one day I will start with the mane and go, oh, this is why I start with the tail, but I don't know what that reason could possibly be. All right, to get me started, I'm gonna split her tail. She has got a very thin tail. The tail hole, you can open that hole up with an X-Acto knife and make it larger so that you can fit more hair, but I very rarely will do that because I have in the past well made tail holes a whole lot bigger than I meant to. What we're going to do is, like I said, separate the tail out into fairly even pieces and, and they don't have to be exact. Uh, this one's much thinner than this one, but who cares. We're going to stretch it out long and you're going to take your end paper and slide it all the way to the end. Take a perm roller and wrap it like so, using the pressure from your thumb on this hand to hold the hair in place, tuck the paper underneath like this and begin rolling the hair up. Making sure that the paper and the hair at the end is tucked up and not bent and you're just going to roll it right up here like so, and there are very many, many methods that you can use to achieve ringlets just like these, such as straw curls. I have used those in the past very successfully. I use this method simply because this is how I learned to create tight curls, aka ringlets, in cosmetology school. Now, the length of hair that I am using here, I took a full length hank of my little pony well length hair and what the heck was i talking about bunny okay i'm back with it i remember okay yes i purchased this from dolly hair she has several different lengths of hair that you can purchase off of her website this was a my little pony length hank 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 of hair that I simply cut in half. So this is half of a full length of hair. Does that make any sense? I'm not really sure if it does. Anything longer than this, and I will go with straws to create these curls, simply because trying to curl more than this length on a rod this length is not easy. I've done it before somewhat successfully and other times I royally screwed it up. This can be really tricky if you're trying to keep that pony standing up because they do like to fall over in the direction that you're tugging their tail or mane, whichever it may be. I know that's a sh big shock. And oftentimes I will take something and give her a little more stability, just prop it right behind her there just to keep her from falling over on me and then other times I'll let her fall over and she can just stay there because I'm sick of fighting with her. Anyway, so now we're going to go with this mane of hers. Another tip to getting nice clean ringlets is using the right amount of hair 
for each individual curl. If you use too much, your ringlet is going to be bulky here on the rod and it's not going to create a very pretty curl. If you use too little, you're just going to come out with scraggly looking ringlets that just aren't very pretty. what I'm doing. I'm like, do, 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 do. I should really pay attention. Quit talking so much and pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, here is a good example of why I have these scissors. I don't know if you guys can see this and I don't want to pick the pony up, but there are several strands here that when I go to unroll these, which will be, I guess, at the end of this video, those would potentially get stuck around the have a little bitty teeth. The hair can get stuck in that and talk about a quick and easy way to ruin your curls. Getting one or two pieces of hair stuck around the rod. Yeah, that really, that really, really rocks. And I guess from this point on, I'm just gonna start babbling. Okay, now, as you can see, the hair here is getting separated, so this is why we have our handy dandy brush sitting right next to us to brush out when they get a little tangled. Maintain a slight amount of tension on the hair while you're rolling. This will keep the hair nice and uniform going up the rollers themselves. Let me see. Back it up, girl. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. You see, I'm keeping the hair straight. And I keep it straight the whole way up the rod. And that's going to create some very, very, very pretty curls. And we're already up above her ear. Wow. All right, stand up, girlfriend. Stand up and behave. Say no. I don't want to. All right, this looks like too much for two. Not enough for three. Okay, now my hair is also getting dry at this point, and obviously damp hair is a lot easier to work with than wet hair. You definitely don't want it to dry out, in which case, look at what we got. I'm almost done, so I'm not even going to fuss over it. 
it's fine. All the same, something to bear in mind. She is all rolled up, and now from this point, I am going to go and boil me a pot of water. I'm going to take said pot of water and boil it into a small container, which I'm going to dip all of the curls in a couple of times, and then she's going to come and she's going to sit in front of a heat lamp until tomorrow when we shall return. So, we'll see you then. And now, we're back. I know the lighting is very, very different today. We've waited 24 hours approximately. This is when we're going to make the magics. So yes, she has rested for about 24 hours. She is completely dry. And so now is the fun part, taking out all the rods and producing those beautiful girls. So let's just get right on it. This is another part that takes a lot of practice. She's going to take the end out there, roll it out a little bit, and I just go around in circles like so. This seems to be the easiest way to keep the curls from getting tangled, snagged in the little teeth that I mentioned earlier. Peel paper off the bottom and voila! Okay, oh, stand up girl. On some occasions, you're going to get these funky little ends. I don't know how well you can see that, but you just take it and twist it in the right direction. Like so. <laughs> and you have a beautiful little ringlet, so let's continue. And another tip, make sure that the end stays out of your way. I usually tuck it into my hand. Uh, I have had many of these little boogers get caught in a beautiful, perfect bunch of ringlets and snag said ringlets. And that's never fun. That's a little frustrating. So yeah, keep the cap in check. And we're just going to keep doing it over and over. And over 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 again. And so I guess this is another part that I will probably end up fast forwarding. Maybe not yet because this is the last one here for the tail. And I'm going to show it off before I go speeding it up. Alrighty then. Tuck that little bit in there, and looky there, ringlets. What am I trying to say here? When you don't bull perm the pony's hair, they will almost always fall naturally with time. So when I'm creating a custom that I'm not intending on keeping, or if I want a custom curls to fall to give it a little more natural look, I will not immerse the these things what are these things called these perm rods yes I will not immerse them in hot water if I want them to fall naturally
too busy concentrating. Hey! Boing, boing, boing. Okay. One more tippy poo. I'm gonna show you what I mean with this last curl. Okay, when you've got a uh, god, look at that. When you've got a whole bunch of curls in a pony's head, one of the things that you gotta be careful about doing is again watching out for these teeth, especially when you're uncurling. And this light's terrible, but it's real easy to snag a curl. And of course, I can't. Now that I'm trying to, which is just as well. But you go in around like this. It's easy to, for one of these annoying little teeth to grab a hair and, again, mess up your ringlet. So to keep this from happening, a lot of times I'll just hold the curl underneath the rod and go up like this to ensure that that does not happen. And, hey, looky there. She's done. Okay, I'm done with that. So here she is. She's finished. And that is how I create ringlets. Say, how well can you see? Oh, bad light. I hate you so much. Her ringlets turned out really nice. And really, really tight. So we're done. And I hope you guys learned something. I hope that you have a better idea of how at least I create these ringlets that I do adore so very, very much. Let me know if you guys have any questions, have any comments, if you'd like to see more custom tutorials in the future, thumbs this video up. Please be sure to subscribe, and I will bring them to you post-haste. Toodles!